really enjoy it. And just look at the way that it blends. It blends like a dream. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because somehow we are doing another favorites video. We are doing my September Clean Beauty favorites, which I don't know how September, Sebed, like, and I know I'm not the only one that thinks this September flew by in October is like, I'm here. And I'm not upset because I love October. I'm also taking a trip in October. I'm very excited. And you know, October's great. Pumpkins, leaves, basic energy. It's just my favorite time of year is like when it hits October, I just, my whole, I get so excited. Let me know down below what your favorite month is. I feel like a lot of people love October. So let me know. I'm not a big summer gir girly as you know, cause I just, I sweat too much, but I would love to know down below. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my September clean beauty favorites. All right, favorites, let's get into it. I'm gonna do makeup first, then I'm gonna do hair, cause I only have a few hair products and then we're gonna get into skincare, the usual kind of order. So let's jump right in. The first thing I wanna talk about that I've been loving this month is this. So this is from the brand Nude Sticks and this is their um, Blot and Blur Matte Stick. I love this. This is just so good. So I have combo skin and my T-zone, <laughs> neat. She has been greasing up a ton. So this is great. So what I like to do with this is on top of makeup or um, I've even done it underneath makeup or alone, I will apply this and just really get get it in there and it really controls oil throughout the day, which is really good because again, I'm always sweating. And if you have an event, a wedding, a long day, using this underneath your makeup, I prefer to use it underneath, but I've done it on top of, um, or even just using it to control oil on like your no makeup face is so clutch. It just makes your makeup last so much longer. It is just so, so good. And again, controls oil. You can't go wrong with that. Highly recommend. Okay, next. Next is a combo that I've talked about a thousand times. My brow combo. So this is the Rose Ink Clear Brow Gel. I love this. It's more pomade style. It really holds my brows in place without feeling too jelly, which I really enjoy. And it gives a very natural finish and look to it. And then the Westman Atelier Brow Pencil. I've talked about this a thousand times. It's so freaking good. It lasted me over... I feel like it's like 14 months it lasted me, which is kind of crazy. I do test a lot of makeup, but I would say that from a brow makeup like perspective, I really don't test that many. So that's pretty impressive. I would say if I wasn't testing makeup, it lasted me a year. So it is so good. I highly, highly recommend. And I know it's expensive, but it's worth it. And I spent significantly less money with brow products for like my everyday life because I test makeup. So I'm always buying stuff. but. For my everyday makeup products, I I bought way less than I would have if I paid for something that was a little bit less expensive because it has so much product in the tube. Anyways, I digress. Stop yapping on about it. So the next. Next, I've actually only really been grabbing one complexion product a ton this month um, because I've been kind of going no makeup base style. So no skin tint, no nothing. O occasionally I would grab some, but I really have been loving letting my skin kind of breathe. But I have obviously been using concealer because I have the darkest circles in the history of the earth. And I've been loving the, this one, the Cool Fee Concealer. You know this is a favorite. This is the shade Mango Drop. I have a backup of this one. Um, I have been trying and testing a bunch of other concealers and stuff, but this one just been grabbing it a ton and been really, really enjoying it. Um, I also was grabbing the Say Beauty one, but just not quite as much as this one, but this is great. I highly recommend, and it just melts into the under eyes. It's amazing. All right, so the next, as I've been saying, I am the greasiest person right now, and I've been powdering a ton, and the Ami Colay setting powder is just life. Under my eyes, T-zone, wherever I feel like I need it, it's so good, and this is one that I do hope they come out with like a little compact, like little one that I can use like for travel, um, which is, I feel like a dream that will never happen, but I've really, really been enjoying this because it just controls my oils. Now, if I want something for my purse where I touch up throughout the day, um, I have 
just been loving the Westman Atelier powder. It's just so, so, so freaking good. And it controls oil so well, and it's really compact. It feels luxe, I highly recommend. But um, I haven't been out of the house that much this month, so I haven't been using it that much. But that one is just holy grail. It's really, really good. Okay, next. Next. Ooh, which one should we go with first? Because I feel like this category is crazy. You know what? We'll go with the one that isn't quite as crazy. Blushes. Let's move on to blushes. So I have been loving three, which is, it's crazy that it's the slow, you guys. Who even am I? Oh my gosh, can you hear my dog? She's so sick of me talking. Um, I have been only grabbing like three blushes this month, which is wild. I have been testing a ton of new ones, but in my everyday life, this is what I've been grabbing first. It's just so good. Ami Colet, and this is their blush in Dune, which is just such a pretty color. I just, going into fall, this is just like the type of shade that I love. Can you see? It would help if I faced it to the camera. <laughs> But this is what I have been loving. It's just so good. It's so easy to blend out. I don't know. These are really, really good. And it's multi-stick. You can use it on your lips and stuff, eyes, all that jazz. I just prefer to use it on my cheeks because I don't love a multi-stick all over my face. But if I do use it on my lips, it's really pretty. I really enjoy it. And just look at the way that it blends. It blends like a dream. It's just so good. But it like... Ugh. It gives like the perfect flush. Anyways, I've talked too much about that. Next, I'm back on my Victoria Beckham. My Victoria Beckham blush in the shade Playground, which is just my favorite blush color, especially going into fall winter. It is just so gorgeous. And it has that similar, it's a little bit thicker, but not in a bad way than the Ami Colet, but it has that same really nice feeling where it doesn't feel like it's drying. It makes you look so natural. I don't know, I'm obsessed. It also has the slip texture wise. So out of the two of these for longevity purposes, the um, West, just West, can I get it together? I got Westman Atelier on the brain. The Victoria Beckham Beauty blush lasts a little bit longer, but they're both great. And then lastly, I've also been grabbing this one a ton this month, and this one is so good. So this is from Merit Beauty. This is their old packaging. Um, I have the new one on deck, but I'm trying to like really scrape out the bottom of this before I you know, get rid of it. But this is their blush in the shade Beverly Hills. I love this shade. Um, it just gives me like the perfect flush. And for like a beachy day or a day where I want to feel like I have life in my face when I'm really dead inside, this is such a nice one because it also is super hydrating. It gives like a nice glow to the cheek. I am a really, really big fan of these blushes. I do know that they're they're pricey, but it had this is the old packaging. This has lasted me for a while, which is probably... Time to get a new one, but also, no, I won't. Not until I'm done with it. Okay, next category. We're moving on to lips, and I have a thousand lip products here, I'm realizing, which is alarming. Let's start with step one. The first one, this lip oil from Fawn Beauty. I've talked about this a bunch on this channel, but I love this lip oil. I just feel like my lips have been loving the hydration that it gives. And it has like this perfect, slippy, luxurious feeling. It's really, really good. And I have a different shade. I think it's called Witch's Brew. That is like a subtle pinky shade. I don't know. I'm a really, really big fan of the Fawn Beauty lip oils. And I highly recommend checking them out. Okay, then for... Oh, I have a couple actually. For like more um, lip balmy, lipsticky products, I have three. So the first one is this one from Jones Road Beauty. And this is their... Um, it's so pretty. It is their tinted lip balm type of product. Well, actually, what is it called? Lip tint. So that was simple. And it's just such a pretty shade. And I, this is such a grab and go easy lip color for me because my natural lip color is a little bit more on the pink side. And this just looks so natural, but looks like a your lips, but better shade on me. And it's hydrating and it's not goopy. I don't know, I'm a really big fan of these and I definitely wanna grab another one. Next, another pinky, Ugh, I love this product. This is from Freck Beauty and this is their um, soft matte lipstick. Is it lipstick, is this, is that what they call it? Oh yeah, soft matte blur lipstick. And it's such a pretty shade, it's over here and it's not too matte. Again, another your lips but better shade for me. And it's not too matte, it feels hydrating, but it I don't know how to explain it. Like it hydrates, but it isn't 
drying, but it's mad. It's magic. I love this. And I have the shade main character in this. It's just such a good product. Next. I love this. This is from um, Kosas and this is their new, the, they came out with like two new lipsticks. One was their older formula and this one is their new one. And I love this. And this is in the shade 100 degrees. And it is just such a good neutral color for me. I just love it. It's so, so good. It's so good in all these shades like going into fall when I don't wanna, maybe I want a little bit less of a, a brownie nude shade on my lip and I want more of some version of a pinky nude. All these shades are really, really good for me. So the next lip liners, we got a ton. The first ones. These, I've already talked about this. I've already tried these on. These are from the brand Shashu. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this is their liquid lip stain, like lip liner. Hey. Neat. I love them. They're so good. They are so good. I have two shades. They have three total. I ordered two. Um, one is pinked, I believe. Yeah, pinked, which is this one. And one is mauved. Now, if you're my complexion or you want something a little bit more neutral, definitely go mauved. But pinked is beautiful as well. And I wear it as it does still feel neutral on me. Um, even though whenever I film and I use it, like use it, um, or I'm like kind of testing out to see how stuff looks on camera, Stuff for my lips always tends to skew more pink than it really is in real life, but these are great. I love them. They're not drying and they just, they wear so nicely throughout the day. Next, um, no one shocked by this, Victoria Beckham Beauty Lip Liner. And um, this is the shade that I have here. I think this is 04, yeah. 04, I love this. I This is another really good Your Lips a Better shade for me. And every time I wear this, I have one specific friend that always is like, I don't know how you found the perfect nudie pink lip for you, but you did it and congratulations. And every time I'm like, thank you. Even though I am testing new lip liners right now, and I have to say, I think I found two incredible lip liners that I cannot wait to share, specifically if you're my complexion or you like shades that I like, you are going to love them. I swear they're so good and I can't wait to show you. Anyways, these are this is like so good. And I have most of the shades. Um, I also have the shade 02, which is two shades below this one. There's 04, 05. I also have the shade red. And I think maybe that's it, but this is really, really good. Okay, next. I love this. RMS Beauty. I love this lip liner. This is in the shade, what is it? Something nude, something nude. Oh, Sunset Nude. I love this. This is such a pretty shade. It is again, just if you are my complexion, this is just so beautiful and it gives the perfect amount of neutralness. And I feel like that's a miss a lot of the time with lip liners is sometimes you don't have enough neutral toned options um, because sometimes people like something a little bit more warm in tone or more pink in tone. And uh, like this Sunset Nude is such a good neutral on me. I just love it. It feels comfortable. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of the RMS Beauty lip liners. And if you've been wondering, are they good? They're good. Grab them, they're so good. Next, I think these actually might be my last lip products. Yes, I love them. These are the Rowan Beauty Liquid Lip Balms. I'm obsessed with these. I mean, I have three shades. I have other ones. I'm, these are just so good. Um, and I just started using, so this I had also last year. This I started using again. And this is the shade Jude, which is such a way more folly tone. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I have way too much lip product on. It just has, it's just so beautiful. Sorry, I'm looking at the mirror there to, you know, confirm how much I love it. It's so good. It has like the perfect warmy red, almost brick tone to the brown. It's so good. Then I also have been grabbing the shade Remy and the shade Charlie and the shade Lola is somewhere. I've also been grabbing that one a lot. These are so good, so hydrating. I have bought Charlie like three four times at this point. So good. I always have to have this in my bag. This is a really good Your Lips But Better color on me too. I also have the shade, a purpley, more berry tone that I'm so excited to wear because it just looks so good. I'm such a big fan of these. Okay, next. Next, we're moving on to the eyes. We don't have that many products for eyes, but I want to talk about these. I've been loving using the Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeliners on my waterline and just get, getting a little bit more of a smoky eye look that isn't so intense in the sense of like, sometimes when you put stuff on the waterline and it's meant to stay there all day, which is ideal, what I love, sometimes it holds onto the eye, like eye line, 
eye line, water line, girl, get it together. Sometimes it holds onto the water line a little bit too strongly and it doesn't give that like smudgy look like out at a night out at a, a really cool dive bar vibe. And this one gives me that, the um, Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeliners. This is shade black, but I also have the shade brown. I mostly use the shade brown for that, but I have, when I'm going like full send on the smoky eye, I have used this. Um, but there's so many good eyeliners out there that you can use, but this has been so good this month. Next, eyeshadows. So this one actually from Merit Beauty really surprised me. So this is their um, single eyeshadow and it's kind of a cream to powder kind of style. And I got the shade Brun and it's just so pretty. And this one I really have been loving for smudging on my lash line, like on my upper lash line and just giving a little bit of smoke without it being too much, which is how I like to use these. These dry down so fast. So you need to work quickly, quickly. If you don't work quickly, it'll settle down and then it won't necessarily look how you want it to look. I know that some people feel like it becomes patchy, but I do feel like the reason it becomes patchy for a lot of people is because you didn't blend it out quick enough and you let it sit for a second too long and then it's so much harder to smudge so or blend even. So that's something to know, but I really, really like this and you do not, you do not need any primer under this because it sets up and locks up and stays for so long. Very, very good, big fan. The next, on my lash line, I've also been loving this eyeliner, not eyeliner, I use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow that I use as an eyeliner and I just thicken my lash line with it and this is from Jones Road Beauty and this is in the shade dark brown and it is just the most beautiful, perfect, dark brown, stunning amazingness that's ever happened because I feel like a lot of the time, browns are too, too warm, too ashy and this one is just perfect, it is so good. Then, Mascara. I have been actually going pretty mascara free a lot this month, but when I've been grabbing mascara, I have been just, oh, just hit myself in the face, get it together. Um, I have been loving the Jones Road Beauty Mascara. It is so good. It gives me length, it gives me volume, and it just wears beautifully throughout the day. And I don't have to worry about like any crumbling or running, which is really nice. And right now my allergies are should be jailed quite frankly because my allergies are so bad and i have had no issues with this mascara it is just so freaking good but if i'm not wearing this mascara then i'm curling my lashes with a little bit of a aquaphor or something like that on my lashes or just honestly just going curling my lashes and not putting anything really good okay next we're moving on to hair oh no actually we're not <laughs> Next, we're moving on to setting spray, and I love the setting spray. It's so good. So this is the LYS Beauty setting spray. I've been using this nonstop. My makeup always looks so good when I spray my face with this, and it, I mean, I've done a whole review, so I'm not gonna yab on, but this has been a staple this month for when I have been wearing makeup. I can't not set my face with this. It's just so good. Okay, next, another lip product. This is from the brand Fresh, and this is their Sugar Advanced smoothing lip primer. It used to be something else and now I only have that name stuck in my head. So I always have to read the label cause like girl, I've talked about this for I feel like a year and a half now and it's just so good. This is so good. It's very watery consistency. You put it on your lips and it just smooths everything out. And if you have dry cracky lips or you pick at your lips like me, which again, jail time for me, um, it just completely helps out and a lot of the time if i'm really stressed or anxious or whatever i pick at my lips and i go to bed and it looks like a rabid dog attacked my lips i put this on and i swear to god the next day it has helped so much with the healing which is life-changing i i hate running out of this backups on backups i just can't it's just so good highly recommend next we're moving on to hair we only got a few products I've been on a hair journey in the sense where I got, I don't know what happened this summer and I know I'm not alone with this. Let me know if you have also been in a phase where you were just ignoring your hair. Like hair was up, frizzy, mess. The humidity was so bad. Like I couldn't, I think my hair was up in like most of my videos when I filmed because I, I, could, I my hair was not cooperating. It wasn't working. The humidity was just stealing my joy. And so I've been on a hair journey because I'm like, you know what? I neglected my hair for months and now I'm 
what am I doing with my life? So now I've been really focusing on hair products. So if you have any recommendations, let me know down below, but I've been loving this um, mask from Amika and this is their the Cure Intense Bond Repair Mask and I feel like my hair has been loving this and drinking this in. Um, I have the big one, but this is a nice, the smaller version of it, but I love this for travel and stuff like that. This is just so freaking good. You put it in, I leave it in for 10 minutes and I actually got, wait, so random. I got a timer for my shower to time how long my hair masks are in because I don't know if anyone else feels like their sense of time makes no sense. I will be sitting somewhere for like 30 seconds and be like, okay, it's been 10 minutes. My husband's always like, are you okay? And the answer is no. I'm so bad at gauging time. So I got that timer from my shower. So now I know when it's been 10 minutes, it's been game changing for me. Anyways, I have been loving this mask. I put it in for 10 minutes and I swear my hair has been loving it, drinking it in and it really has been making all the difference in my hair that has been so sadly neglected. I highly recommend. I also have other Amika hair masks, but this one is by far right now my favorite. Um, I am gonna be doing a full hair kind of video where I'm talking about all the products I've been loving. So I'll talk about all the other hair masks I love from their brand there, but this is really good, I highly recommend. Okay, next scalp now if you struggle with hair growth um or even just your hair overall health focusing on the scalp is so important and there's so many good scalp serums out there this is one that i have repurchased the most over the last i want to say six or seven years at this point this is from the brand maybe not seven Oh, it doesn't matter. I've repurchased this a thousand times and I used to, I have to say, I used to love their old packaging more, but that's okay. This is from the brand Reverie and this is their um, cake hair tonic and her scalp tonic. And it's a very like watery consistency. So it doesn't make your hair feel or look greasy when you put it in. And I just feel like my hair loves this stuff. I actually recommended this to someone and they they say that their hair has been so shiny ever since using it it really does make all the difference and their hair health has just been loving it and actually you know what someone else who i recommended it to who has really curly hair and they always wear their hair curly says that this also has made their hair look really really shiny highly recommend checking this out it's very expensive and i'm fully aware of that but if you're looking for something i highly recommend this there are a ton of other scalp serums out there but Taking care of your scalp is important. All right, next we're moving on to skincare really quick. We have very few products and then we are done. So first things first, I have been having, I don't know what is going on around my brows and it's definitely something I'm probably doing, but like in the middle here and just a, a little bit on the edges, I've been having random breakouts. They're go away and they don't like leave intense hyperpigmentation or anything, thank God, but I've been getting annoying little breakouts, just like little bumpies that are red and then I need a spot treatment. And this one is so good. So this is from the body shop and this is their tea tree oil. I know a lot of people don't like to use like oils or anything like that on their face. It works for me. So this is what I like to use. And it truly like, I'll put it on the spot that maybe I picked or the spot that has, is like, a random under the bump thing. I put it on the night, like at night, and I swear it makes all the world of difference. And I know tea tree oil has bacteria fighting qualities in it and all of that. So this is really, really good. I also like to use tea tree oil kind of based body washes for when I'm having really bad breakouts on my body and I just need something to really calm my skin down, not be too harsh and dry my skin out because then that also is a problem because when my skin gets too dry, I get breakouts so not dry my skin out but give me that like bacteria fighting kind of vibe which is just the best i love that but this is so good okay next next we're talking serums so i have been loving these serums and i've been testing and trying them out i've talked about them in my more recent video about skincare these from good molecule so their hyaluronic acid is great i apply like i do one two two drops 
not like pipettes, just drop, drop. And then I apply it to my face, let it sink in for like 30 seconds. And then I go on with this one, which is their super peptide serum. I've repurchased both of these. These are great. My husband also really likes these. And oh my God, my dog's so loud. And it is just so good. I love what, how this makes my skin feel, look, and I just feel like it just, I don't, I feel like my skin is in person at least looking super plump and hydrated and it's just life and it isn't anything that is oily or anything it has a, a slight tack to it both of them but th that goes away pretty much immediately i will rub the remainder of what i have into my hands um because i want my hands and my neck and my chest and everything to age gracefully so i pull all my skincare all around really really good next this is just my favorite face cream. So this is from First Aid Beauty. I have a bunch of face creams I love from them, but this one right now has just been everything to me. So this is their Ultra Repair face cream, just their plain. I know that they have plain. I know they have scented ones, but I really like this one. And I apply it to my face. And since I have combo skin, it doesn't make me do up like crazy in the middle, which is really nice. And it just sinks right in. It doesn't pill with makeup. It pairs so well with all my other skincare. And even though I don't have dry skin and I have combo skin, it just, and I would say it's like normal-ish. It's like normal combo. I don't know how to explain it. And sometimes in winter though, my cheeks can get a little bit dry, but what can you do? But this is so good. I love this. Can't go wrong. And then lastly, I back up of this coming in, the Kosas Sport Deodorant. This is one I will talk about till I'm blue in the face because it's so good. It doesn't, I'm never smelly when I wear this and it's just so good. It's so good. If you have been on the hunt for an AHA um, roll-on deodorant, I don't know why I'm doing this. You know how to put deodorant on. It is so freaking good. I highly recommend. And yeah, that's it. That's it for my September Clean Beauty favorites. I would love to know what have you been loving this month? Also recommend a show, a movie, a food. Let me know down below because I'm in the hunt for some new stuff in my life. So let me know down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.